students today i'll be discussing a new chapter with you that is the earth's atmosphere now the atmosphere is a very important realm of the earth so it can be defined as a blanket of air that envelops the earth as the word atmosphere means the sphere of air the earth's atmosphere is a mixture of many gases and there is a uniform mixture of permanent gases which is known as dry air for example nitrogen oxygen and there is a variable amount of water vapor and dust particles the earth's atmosphere plays a very important role because it acts as an insulating blanket as it protects the earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays and the intense heat and light of the sun now in the earth's atmosphere there is a concentration of gases and the gases are present in the earth's atmosphere in different volumes so here in this chart you can see that there is a diagrammatic representation of the earth's atmosphere where you can see the amount of gases by volume is mentioned first to start with we can see that nitrogen gas is constituting the larger part of the atmosphere and it is comprising 78 to 79 percent by volume next important gas is oxygen here you can see the concentration of oxygen is present in the atmosphere in 21 percent volume now the next important gas is carbon dioxide and it is also present in the earth's atmosphere in a very little amount recording 0.03 percent by volume the other gases which are present in the atmosphere is constituting less than 1%. These other gases are argon, neon, krypton, xenon. These gases are known as inert gases because they are not reactive to any elements of the earth. The importance of water vapor and dust particles are enormous. Now the concentration of water vapor also varies according to latitude and seasons. In the tropical areas, it is recording 4%, whereas in the polar areas, the amount of water vapor is as low as 0.0006% by volume. Dust particles are specially found in the seaside areas, in the industrial areas, and it is also emitted during the volcanic eruptions. These dust particles are known as aerosols. So, in the next segment, I'll be discussing the importance of the water vapor and the importance of the dust particles with you. Now I am sharing some facts about atmosphere. First is the definition of the atmosphere. So look at the boat. The layers of air consisting of different gases, namely nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, Inert gases like argon, neon, krypton, etc., water vapor and aerosols like dust particles, pollens, smoke, salt particles, etc., covering the earth's surface held by the gravitational force of the earth extending up to 10,000 km are together known as atmosphere. And beyond this 10,000 km, there is space. Water vapor is one of the most important elements of the Earth's atmosphere. It is the gaseous state of water. The importance of water vapor is enormous. So let us study the importances of water vapor in the Earth's atmosphere. Look at the boat. The first point goes, water vapor forms cloud, rain, fog, hail, frost, etc. Second point, Water vapor absorbs heat and thereby maintain heat balance of the atmosphere. Third point, water vapor is also responsible for the change of weather. Fourth, without water vapor, the other forms of water and life would not exist. And the last point, water vapor accounts for about 90% of the earth's natural greenhouse effect and thus keeps the earth warm and supports life. Like water vapor, dust particles also play an important role in the Earth's atmosphere. 
Now let us study the importances of dust particles in the Earth's atmosphere. First point, centering dust particles, water vapor forms cloud or fog. Second point, dust particles absorb heat directly and control distribution of solar heat. Third point, dust particles reflect light and colors of sun rays. Fourth point, the sky is blue due to the dust particles. Last point, without dust particles, sunlight is not reflected back to the earth and the earth would remain under darkness even in daytime. So you can well understand that how much dust particles are important in the earth's atmosphere. In this part of the earth's atmosphere chapter, I have discussed about the definition of the Earth's atmosphere, composition of air, importances of water vapor, importances of dust particles and now I will be discussing about the importances of atmosphere. So let us see. The first point states, atmosphere plays a very important role in the hydrological cycle or water cycle and in the formation of clouds. The second point, ozone layer which is present in the earth's atmosphere protects the earth from harmful UV rays or the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Third point states, the earth's atmosphere keeps the temperature of the earth constant. And fourth point is, oxygen is found in the earth's atmosphere and it is a vital gas for supporting the life form on the earth. So now you can see that atmosphere is so so important in the earth because without atmosphere we cannot sustain our lives also. So I think this part of the atmosphere chapter is clear to you but still if you have any queries you can send me mail in my mail id srabaniwamsclass at gmail.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.